and good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. It's you lot out there. Hello, hello. Uh, today, people tube, it is another gig vlog for you all. Uh, this gig is actually taking place at the end of October, but again, this video ain't coming out till sometime in the future. So it has already happened, and well, like every YouTube video. That's way too philosophical. Anyway, moving along. Uh, hi. So yeah, so the gig today we're playing today is called Aid Fest. We actually filmed and played this festival last year. So we, uh, me and Queenie are vlogging it. So uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if John Joe's vlogging it. He might be. So if you want to see their vlogs, head over to their channel. Uh, they're probably up already. John Joe's and Queenie's. But um, we vlogged this gig last year, and quite a bit of the footage of last year made it into our Wiki Game music video. Uh, so um, yeah, it's it's really it's a really cool venue. I, I I really enjoyed playing there last year. I really can't wait to play there tonight. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. And again, it's all for a good cause for cancer research. So you know you, you can't you can't say much better than that. So uh, so yeah, join us, people, YouTube, will you? Let's go to Canuck and the station and Aid Fest. Let's go. Check out who's in the house. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Check out this guy! 2.0. <laughs> well, I've already done that on yours, sorry. <laughs> cool. Share content. What about this fella? Uh, we're just gonna, uh, again, this is going out in January 2023. But look, Halloween cakes. Queenie's mum makes the best cakes. And here they are. Smell a vision. They smell really nice. The spider ones are cool. What about him? Look, and there's, there's my eyes, they fell out. Okay, we are at the venue in Canuck, not Canada. Canuck, 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 Can, Canuck. That's the place. So we've loaded all the stuff in. Apologies for any wind noise, but the sock is on, but it should be alright. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, it's spooky. Uh, loaded everything in. Anything to say? Anything to add? No, looking forward to playing. Indeed, it should be good. Thank God for the lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's like it's not just like one set of stairs. It's like four set set of stairs up. So it's a long way up. So it's knackered, but there's a lift. So thank gravy. Anyway, see you in a bit. So This is the reason we're happy. There's a, there's a, uh, a, a lift. <laughs> Carrying gear up and down these stairs would, would not be fun. Oh, well, you're going to slash. Oh. And we're at the top. We made it. Can you imagine carrying amps and stuff up here? And especially down after a gig, you'd be dead. Okay, inside then, you, it's just me and John Joe. Queen is out there schmoozing. The lads. Yeah. The lads on tour. Yeah, mate. Showing you how to do it. This was the Dave Simpson trio for a long time. Yeah. Dave Simpson duo. Shite stripes. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're like Jedward. <laughs> but better. But sexier. De a way. And our way hair's sexier. better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if, there's, if there's one thing we're good for. <laughs> it's the hair. It's the hair. It's all good. Yeah. So, I thought I'd take you around what I'm using tonight in yeah. my Jedward style. So... I'm using this wall, no. Uh, I'm using an amp that I'm not going to tell you about because it's a secret. Uh, I won't be using the CL120 tonight because I want to try something else. But, Chapman, ST62, sneakily over here. That's hopefully you're not going to get caught flag for copyright. New pedal board, that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to talk over it now. Uh, uh, Foo Fighters are playing, uh, no, no, room, leave me alone. Okay, go. This is Simon and he's come all the way from Ireland to see us. Awesome. Let's see this. How long was it again? Eight, eight hours? Well, give or take, yeah. Left, left, left at lunchtime, and now I'm here. Awesome. Straight off the train from Birmingham. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm really excited about the gig, so um, been watching you on the YouTube and following on Instagram and Facebook, so really excited about the gig. Awesome. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. Safe. Okay, so um, we're on next. The band up before us is coming to the end of their set. It's actually overrunning. Uh, they were supposed to be off by half seven, and it's. Um, Oh, As usual. Oh, John Joe's got all these dirty socks. Check that out. I'm a ninja. <laughs> Sock ninja. Whoa! Don't get too close. Whoa! <laughs> Blinked your camera. Is that all right? Oh, it's not broken, got... is it? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Smell the vision. Yeah, get, get a load of that. Get a good whiff of that, people of the tube. Get a good old sniff. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so everything's running behind. It's about ten minutes behind now. <laughs> oh, I caught it. So John Joe just flailing into Queenie with his socks. Evil. Nice. He's dirty. Oh. Whiffy socks. We've just been uh, we've been uh, showing people the tube, the socks. The socks. The socks monsters. So yeah. So yeah, we are nearly ready to go. How are you feeling, Queen? Feel fine. Yeah, yeah happy I'm days. To go. Yep, me too. How are you feeling, John? B three. B B three. I'm excited. <laughs> go. Forward to it. Right, that's them done. So uh, yeah, see you in a sec.
Songs of Delilah. So if you know what the song Delilah is about, you'll know what this song's about. And this came about from Billy Dream. Someone said something sad about it. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to write a song about that. It's like, you were in a good place, weren't you, Dave, at that time? Anyway, it was you. You know, though I've been fooled around, so if I was you, I would come clean. So follows you back to this place. That's when I couldn't take anymore. Told you I didn't want to be fooled around. Oh no.
Gözler.
Okay, so we've just uh, finished. Uh, it's been the usual chaos of trying to get off the stage to let the other band on. There's only been 15 minute changeover times, but that felt frantic as anything. It was mental. Queenie's bike stopped working, which was interesting to say the least. Cause I went over and I was like, I'm going to sing it, and then it didn't work. And then the tech came on and was trying to jiggle it, and I was like, that's broken, isn't it? So let's go somewhere else. But that was, I felt really good. Um, yeah, how do you feel it went, John Joe? Mega, mate. Really, really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, dead good. Absolutely. I'm knackered. Now. I'm know. knackered. I don't understand how 45 minutes can be so intense. I know. It's like, you do two hour like gigs all the time and you're fine. Yeah. I think you put more into it, don't you? I think you do, because you, you know you've got like a certain like limited amount of time to do it. Yeah. So you're just like, I'm going to throw everything at this in the kitchen sink. So, uh, yes, yeah, so now we've got to pack away. Queenie's out doing the socialising. We don't really do that yeah, yeah, very yeah. well. People don't want to see us. Yeah, we're, we're the ugly ones. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to see Queenie. Uh, we're, we're just like, nah, nah. We'll, we'll stay backstage. We're cramper style. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got to pack away. But, uh, yeah, the secret amp worked a treat. And you'll see that Sounded soon. Sounded amazing, actually. Yeah. I can't Massive, believe it. Massive, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely huge. You'll see that soon. Next video, I think, actually. Anyway, my arm's about to fall off. See you in a second. I'll, I'll probably do more in a minute, but uh, for now, thank you very much. So I've just realised that I've left my microphone on stage. With all the chaos of like 50 minute changeover times and trying to get on and off the stage really fast, I've left my mic up there. So I'm going to have to, hopefully, they're not going to nick it. So after this band are finished, I'm going to run out there and say like, you know, I'm going to get my mic. It's really identifiable. It's got a dent in the head of the mic because uh, it fell over at one point and smashed into John Joe's bass drum so it's got a dent in it so I can identify it and they, they the sound guy knows I use my mic so if they try and scam me I won't be happy and uh, yeah so hopefully I'll get it back but at this point in time I'm really annoyed that I left it out there but again it was just like mental it was like just, you've got to get off now you've got to get off you've got 15 minutes to get all your stuff off I knew a band have to get their stuff on so I need my mic back John my horns Insert, so. insert jokes here. Okay. I'm horny, horny, <laughs> horny, horny. Copyright strikes. That won't do it, will it? Could you imagine? I don't think so. If, if, I, if I get copyright for that, <laughs> I'll be, be the amazed. I'll be so happy about that. So yeah, we're basically end of the night. Now we've got the fun part of loading out. Yeah. Oh, luckily there's an elevator, thank the great good lord. Uh, and he swore then, because it's tired. Oh, um, you're steady. Easy, easy. We're in here. And uh, there's anti-climb paint. Ooh, interesting. So yeah, we're just about here somewhere. Around the corner is the van of dreams. Or the ran, as it's affectionately called. <laughs> Not gonna tell you why it's called the ran, but it's called the ran. Do do ran, 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 do do ran. <laughs> exactly. Another that. copyright strike. Yep, how's it go? Copyright book with McDonald's. John Joe's parking here, everybody. I think it's pretty Legendary. good. Legendary. It's after a gig parking, it's knackered. We're knackered, so yeah. Okay, Poochoo, so it is the day, day after the gig. Uh, yesterday, uh, just, um, I kind of wasn't in the mood to film an outro for the video because I'm tired, to be honest with you, Poochoo. Uh, it's, it's crazy. These, these kind of like little support slots where you're doing like 45 minutes to an hour set, like, like me and John Joe said, you kind of tend to throw everything at it, including the kitchen sink. And... It, you, the next day you really kind of feel it but it's kind of one of the things you've got to do especially if you know you haven't got a gig the day after like if we were doing like a tour and we were like the support band on a tour or if we were the main band on a tour you know we, we, we'd be a bit we wouldn't we'd be a little bit more reserved because we'd have to be if that makes any sense but because like you know our next gig now isn't until kind of like middle of november even though this video is coming out in january um we don't really have to worry too much about kind of like, you know, being in tip top shape the next day. Like I say, if we, if we had a gig the next day, we would be a little bit more reserved and a little bit more calm, a little bit more kind of like, you know, chilled and relaxed on stage. Not much probably, but maybe a little bit more. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was an amazing gig. Really, really good fun. So, the other bands were amazing. It was great. It was a wicked night full stop. Uh, the audience were great. Um, the on stage sound was tough. It really was. Uh, the Pheasant, I didn't hear my guitar for that entire song uh, at all. All I heard was bass. Uh, I didn't even hear the I could barely hear the drums. Uh, all that was coming through the monitors and all I could hear on stage was bass guitar because he just flooded the monitors with bass. And I have no idea why he had done that. 
But um, luckily, I, I, I can kind of play that song blind, if that makes any sense. So thank Gravy. But towards the end of the Pheasant, it started to kind of like, I could hear my guitar a bit better. I could hear it better in the solo. Uh, apologies for my phone. I could hear it better in the solo because I've got like a volume boost. Um, but as soon as that volume boost went off again, I just disappeared. So I don't know how good the audio is on this video because the, the sound wasn't that great on stage. It was... It was one of those kind of like, well, it has to be what it will be. Also, uh, the the cab I was using, the Marshall cab you can see on stage that I was playing through, it mic'd up in the really, in the wrong place altogether. It was mic'd up between the speakers. And when I got on stage for the first time and saw where it was mic'd, I was like, I need to change that before we play. But because it was such a rush and we were running rap rapidly running out of time to get our stuff on and get playing, I forgot uh, to adjust the microphone. So the mic placement is tripe it was terrible and i wasn't happy with it at all uh, again i don't know how the footage will come out i will edit it slightly i might have to actually decrease the bass in this video because it might come out too low endy i don't know um but i'll say you know and then in the steeler i couldn't really hear my vocals and then it kind of got a little bit better uh the smoke machine was horrible i hate smoke machines because uh, they get in your throat and they dry your throat out and i was struggling by the end of the set, my throat was so dry, I was drinking loads, and I was trying to get some kind of moisture back in my throat from a smoke machine, because it just kind of blew straight over, and as soon as I went to sing or breathe, it just went straight into my throat, dried my throat out, I just couldn't get any moisture back in my throat, and it was getting hard to sing by the end of the, the set, and it was very, 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 very frustrating. I hate smoke machines. Hate them. Um... But they're always there. Uh, I, I, I'm basically going to start a rule where basically if there's a smoke machine at a gig we do, I'm going to say, can we not have it for our set? Can you just turn it off? Can you leave it off, please? Because it's they're just horrible. They really are. Um, and especially being kind of like energetic on stage, you don't really want to be breathing in smoke. You know, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun. It really isn't. But other than that, it was great, great gig. Uh, I thought we played like absolute. It was really frantic. Like, like we said, like me and John Joe said, it's like it's absolutely frantic, fierce gig. We 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 just were absolutely proper going for it. It was amazing. I loved it. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the secretive amp, which is behind me, it's here, which you will see in the next video, people tube. It's uh, like I say, it's a secret. Just point out, I didn't use the CR120. I wanted to use this other amp, but I recently bought. And I say you'll see what it is in the next vid. Uh, absolutely sounded incredible. Uh, I didn't really like the cab. It was like, uh, I think it's got like, um, it was a 100 watt cab. Uh, so it would have had the green back 25 watt Celestian speakers in it. I, I really don't like those speakers. I used to have a Marshall AX cab with those in them. With, with those speakers in it. And it was the reason I sold that cab. I loved the way the cab looked. I didn't like the way it sounded. Um, and it was the same kind of thing. It was like a vintage kind of style cab, and I, it just didn't sound very good. I just didn't particularly like it. It was overly... There was like a fizz, and I didn't particularly enjoy it. I played through the same cab last year, and it was the same deal then as well. I was a bit like, hmm. But, you know, you get on you get on with it. It didn't sound horrific, but uh, it, it wouldn't have been my choice, given a chance. But, again, being a support band, you know, and, and, a, and, a, and a quick change of a thing, you don't really get those opportunities. So you just make do what you can. Uh, but it still sounded good. Uh, like I say, I, I hid the amp in the video again. I, I don't want you to see it until tomorrow. Uh, until tomorrow is it tomorrow? I don't know. I don't remember. Um, until the next video, because uh, it is literally blown my mind. Um, absolutely blown my mind. Uh, it's a great amp. Anyway, um, yeah. Is there anything else to say? Uh, oh, apparently they did record it at the mixing desk. Now I don't hold out any hope that this is gonna it's gonna sound that great, judging by the way the sound was on stage, uh, and also judging by the mic positions. Um, I don't think the soundboard audio will be that great. But if it is, I will put some songs up with the soundboard audio. But at this point in time, don't. I if I don't think it's very good, I'm not I'm not gonna bother with it. But if it is okay, then I'll I'll, I'll do some. But if if I'm like mm, no no, I'm not it's not it's not right at all. Because um, soundboard audio is 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 okay if the mix live is good. Sound if a, if a mix live is bad, then the soundboard audio is going to be bad. Because we I, we won't get it in stems. We'll probably get it as like an MP3. 
which is never good. Uh, hopefully we'll get it as a WAV file. But um, if we get it as an MP3, then I'm definitely not using it because MP3s are garbage. Um, horrible, harsh, fizzy crap, in my opinion. Uh, that's what MP3 is. And uh, I, I would not use that for soundboard audio gig footage. I just not, I'm just not going to do it because it's just not good enough. It's not good enough quality. If it's a WAV, then yes, definitely. Because you've still got all the frequencies. But if it's an MP3 and it's compressed to all... Um, you know, to the size of a small field mouse, then no, we're not going to be using that. But watch your space, people. Dude. Watch your space. Um, other than that, uh, new pedal board worked out a treat as well. I loved having a, a uni vibe. I loved having the damp pedal on there. Um, it was great. Absolutely awesome. Love it to bits. Uh, the engine room is just an absolute beast. It's quiet as a mouse. Um, yeah. Absolutely amazing. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this gig vlog uh, of AidFest 2022, or we're in 2023 now. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vid, and I'll see you again very soon for another one. There will be a great reveal uh, of this amp in the next video. Like I say, blown away by it. Absolutely blown away by it. Sounded amazing. Felt amazing. Good gravy, is all I can say. Anyway, um... Thank you very much indeed for watching people too. If you like the channel and like the videos I do here, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Links to that are down there. Uh, as well as links to the Bandcamp, where you can hear the songs you heard the trio play in this video, and also songs that I've done on my own as well. So, anyway, and the uh, songs I've done with Queenie, and songs I've done with John Joe. Anyway, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed the vid. I'll see you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and goodbye now. Ho <laughs> ho.